Good morning, Sunny Slope Plugged In Kids. We are talking about Joshua and Caleb from the Book of Numbers. Um, this episode is called, There Are Giants in the Land. When Moses sent spies to, into the land of Canaan, actually there were 12 spies for 40 days to spy out um, the land to see if they could claim the land that God promised them. They went in and came back out with two different reports, right? Mm -hmm. And so 10 of the spies had a very unfortunate report. They said that there was giants in the land, the cities were fortified with high walls, and the, and the giants that were dwelling in the land were descendants of Anak. Well, Anak was believed to be the descendant of the Philistines. Do you guys remember David and Goliath? Well, Goliath the giant was one of these people, one of the Philistines. So these people were descendants of them, and they were giants. So they were very afraid. These ten spies were very afraid, and they didn't think that God would deliver them if they obeyed God. Well, you know what? Joshua and Caleb came back with a different report. They said that the land was flowing with milk and honey uh -huh, and abundant fruit. And they really believed that God could deliver them into the land if they would just go. They had faith. The 10 Israelite spies that didn't have faith, they had fear. And so, and the Bible tells us that perfect love casts out fear. When we love and trust God, he can deliver us and he can help us. But when we refuse to give over to him, the fear can take over. So for 38 years, they wandered in the wilderness. God told them 38 more years after they spied out the land, they wandered in the wilderness. And you know what? That whole generation, Moses' generation, they died there. Yep, they did. So then, um, actually, I got ahead of myself. Do you know part of the story was that some of those people decided to, even though God told them they would not inherit the land, they tried to go anyway. And Moses told them not to go, but guess what happened? They did it. So their enemies, they were defeated by their enemies. And it's very sad because Moses wanted to go in the promised land. He died there, but God took his bones to heaven. That's what they believe. That's why they believe they can't find where Moses was buried. So for, for the Israelites, it's very sad because they didn't get to see the promised land that God promised them because they were complaining and grumbling. Do you guys ever complain and grumble? I know I do sometimes, but we have to ask God to forgive us. So Caleb and Joshua, on the other hand, got to go into the promised land which was really cool because not only did God give them the victory over their enemies, but they possessed the land and they had milk and honey and delicious grapes and they, they thrived in that land. So boys and girls, we have a very important lesson to learn in this story. The lesson is that when we grumble and complain, God doesn't like it. God doesn't honor that. But when we trust and obey God, he will honor that and he will bless them. So I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you watch it on Superbook. The link will be on the very end of this um, uh, video. And we are going to come right back. Dakota has a special surprise for us today. So we'll be right back with more. Boys and girls, guess what? I have a surprise for you. Want to see it? It's giants! Okay, so did you hear that story that Pastor Kathy told you? Well, I'm not afraid of giants! Yeah. Oh. Don't see that part. Don't. Shh. Hi
whistle down A little worried when I look around That's why my hope is in My hope is in the Lord I fix my eyes upon the God who gives Cause all I need is what I have in Him That's why my hope That's why my